guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special slash interesting video this week for you guys. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go check it out. I did change my Instagram name. It is Country Fit. Uh, definitely go follow me because I post almost, I don't know, three or four times a week on there. And if you didn't know, I am now a brand ambassador for Bucked Up which is an amazing supplement and apparel company. Their logo, their brand is really what caught my eye. And then obviously their apparel I wanted to wear, which I'm going to do a try on for you guys. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna try on all the clothes I bought for you and give you an honest feedback. And I wanted to give you guys an honest feedback of the supplements that I bought. So what I bought from them was protein, two different types of flavors of protein, Two BCAA, two BCAAs, and the pre-workout. So every night before I go to bed, I either have egg whites or I make a protein shake. And for those of you guys who don't know, I do like to make protein ice cream, which I have a Nutribullet. You guys have that very good blender, and I take about a cup this big, fill up to the level of ice, put a scoop of uh, protein powder, a little bit of water, and blend and then put a little bit more water when it's about to die because it'll start screaming at you because it won't mix anymore. A little bit more water, blend, and it'll turn into an ice cream consistency. And it only has worked with a couple different proteins, and I don't know what they put in to make it that consistency, but it's the Quest Cookies and Cream and the Quest Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's those two proteins that make into the blend in ice cream. So I got my shipment in last night from Buck Dub, and I was super excited to try everything, and it was also time for me to eat my meal before bed, and I was like, I'm seriously curious what happens when I take this chocolate protein powder and try to make an ice cream. Is this going to be turning into ice cream? It didn't turn into ice cream, guys. So when normal protein powders don't turn into ice cream, they turn into this icy, slushy, gross consistency, which you don't want. Like, it just, I can't even, I can't even just, no, I can't. I have to throw it out and then try to eat something else. It's just not a good consistency. So the chocolate doesn't turn into an ice cream, it turns into a frosty. So it's not icy, but it's not as creamy and thick as ice cream. And I drank it with a straw, you can use a spoon, and it was so good, guys. This seriously, where is it? I have vanilla here, there's chocolate protein powder. They also have the keto protein powder. If you guys go check out their website, I'm gonna have it all linked down below with my discount code you guys should use. Um, Seriously, best tasting chocolate protein powder ever. I'm a huge fan of Isopure, a huge fan of Quest. Isopure, I think, you know, it's great, but this flavor uh, is so good. And it only has two grams of sugar, three grams of carbs, and it is 25 grams of protein per scoop. So, gluten-free um, and soy-free mitzvah.com. So I wanted to taste though the vanilla. So I have the vanilla protein for you guys and I made it just with water and I wanted to do a flavor profile tasting for you guys because I've never had this so here we go. It's actually really good. It's kind of sweet. I wasn't thinking it was going to be sweet but it's really sweet and it's really light and I hope you guys can see it does mix really, really well, like watery consistency. This isn't cold water. This is just regular plain water. This is really good. I would drink this, which I normally have to gag down my protein in water because I just don't like flavors of stuff. This, the protein, they did really, really well with. So I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion completely. I did make also, if you guys don't know, you can do a couple things with protein. I made icing. So you just take however much protein you want and just tiny bit by tiny bit add water, mix it and it'll turn into this like icing consistency. And you can put it over fruit, rice cakes, you can make healthy protein cookies or whatever you want, use it as icing. So now I'm going to taste this and see how it tastes icing wise. So it's super sweet has a little bit of an interesting aftertaste but it's really sweet this would be really good with a cookie 
I think I'm gonna get chocolate chip cookie underneath it. I don't think I could muscle through this alone because sometimes with other protein powders before, I've eaten it the whole scoop as icing. But this vanilla is super sweet and I'm not sure I'd drink to it this way. So I would definitely try it with the water first because that tastes really good. All right, moving on from protein. I love BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. You need them in your life, especially if you're working out. Trust me, there's multiple flavors that Buckdip has, and the two that stood out for me was the peach mango and pina colada. So we're gonna taste the peach mango first. And I'm so excited, it smells good. The color, I mean, is peach mango. It's, it's the correct color. It just, oh, it smells so, it smells like candy. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what it tastes like, but you definitely taste the peach and you taste the mango, and it's sweet like candy. But it's not overpoweringly sweet. Like the sweet from the protein um, icing that I made, this was like too sweet. This is good sweet. I would love to sip on this throughout my workout. This is making me really happy. I'm so excited I found a new BCAA, guys. It tastes so good, and I'm not one that thinks I can't drink a lot of sweet stuff, but this I'm gonna drink. I don't wanna stop drinking it. Okay, next flavor. <laughs> so the, um, the label for that one looks like this. We got an orange buck on there. And then our pina colada flavor, that's gonna look like this on the website. BCAAs is a little bit more clear color. Holy guacamole. <laughs> I could pretend like there's rum in this and be on a beach and I'm just getting so happy. I, wow, wow guys, wow. Um, just wow. So I'm gonna be completely honest. I really loved their apparel and I was like, I want to rep that company. And if I only have to rep their apparel, I will because I'm always gonna be 110% honest with you guys. If I can't eat it or if I don't take it, I'm not gonna tell you I will. I'm gonna tell you it's gross, I'm gonna tell you not. I'm just, I'm not gonna be very honest. This is my first time trying any of their stuff and I am so freaking excited. Like I have a chocolate frosty that tastes exactly like a frosty from Wendy's, then the peach mango and now this pina colada. Holy crap, it's good. I'm trying to think of like what it tastes like because there are certain pina coladas where it's super strong it tastes like a creamy coconut pina colada. It's a very creamy, light flavor. And it doesn't have a weird aftertaste. Um, compared to like the peach mango, which is a lot more candy tart sweetness, right? So if I'm having a sweet cravings, I will definitely drink this. But this one is like your on a beach. Like I don't I don't explain it. This is really, really good. This this is my favorite so far. The peach mango is really good, but pina colada flavor BCAAs, which you get to drink every freaking day. I'm so excited I found this. Alright, so I don't know if I've talked about this in my workouts yet. I never used to take pre workout, ever. I think I tried it once four years ago, two years ago, three years ago, and it made my skin just like feel like it's crawling the anatomy is really gross. Um, so I didn't, I didn't ever take it and I've never needed pre-workout. I just, it's all mental. Everything is a mental game. But I started doing glutes with Melanie and she's like, we're pushing it really hard. You should just try a pre-workout and it changed my life. I've been using a really cheap Walmart brand. I know I wanted to get a new one, a better tasting flavor one, a better pre-workout in general. So look how cute this labeling is. Guys, come on. You know you love it. Okay, besides the labeling, the flavor of this pre-workout is Merica Rocket Pop. It smells like cat and candy. And I don't take pre-workout with water. I am a total bro and outside of my truck, I take the scooper, dip it back. I have my water bottle next to me, but I don't eat candy. And to me, pre-workout is kind of like pixie sticks. So you just eat it. 
I don't know if anyone else is like that, but that's how I do it. So I don't know. We're just gonna taste a little bit because I'm not gonna go to the gym until I'm done filming. So I don't wanna get too hype before the gym, but here we go. This just give me taste. I can let you guys know in my next video if you want. Comment down if you want me to tell you how it feels after workout, but. Mm hmm That's good. Um, it's like a blue ras blue raspberry? Kinda tastes like blue raspberry. I don't know. It tastes just like another candy. It tastes better than the Walmart brand. The Walmart brand's very tart. Like a tart, strong flavor. And this is lighter. Definitely tastes more of candy than the other one. So overall, I am super pleased. I'm going to take this pre-workout on Friday when I work glutes with Melanie. And I can post on my Instagram how I like it. Just let me know if you guys wanna know. Um, but overall, so really good. Flavor profile, amazing. I'll see how it makes me feel in the gym on Friday. And then favorite BCA out of both, but they're both good, is definitely Pina Colada. I do, though, really like peach mango. So if you guys want candy or if you're on your stri a strict diet and you don't get to have candy, peach mango is really, really good. And then the chocolate wins for my flavor profile better than the vanilla protein for sure, but they're both very good. Both very good. But you have to get the chocolate protein and try the frosty thing. Please send me a video of you trying it. Please message me. Like, I'm not even making this up. With the, with the other proteins that I told you that I did ice cream with, they're okay. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I, I eat things that other people won't eat because I don't eat a lot of sugar and I think it tastes better. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. The crust ice cream, I've had ups and downs. This freaking, where is it? Wrong bag. <laughs> this chocolate protein ice water blended to frosty consistency is it tastes like a freaking frosty. Okay, I'm going to. I, I'm just shocked. I'm so excited to be a part of this company, this brand, a brand ambassador for such an amazing company. Like, this isn't fake, guys. I wouldn't be sitting here telling you guys to try this stuff if I didn't think it was really good. And the stats are amazing on all of their products. They have amazing packaging, amazing flavor, amazing stats. And you can message them if you have any dietary restrictions and they'll tell you. I told them, I was like, I have to be gluten free. Every single product is gluten free. So I get to try everything for you guys. I'm so excited. So aside from the protein, the BCAAs, and the pre-workout, I did a comparison on my multivitamin versus Bucked Up Woman's multivitamin. So this is what the packaging is gonna look like when you get it. Women, girls, ladies, if you're looking for an excellent daily multivitamin, this one, this one, look no further. Don't go to GNC anymore, don't go to other places. Seriously, this is so good. I, it has so many vitamins. First of all, when I was comparing, I was looking at all of the, the IU, um, the IUs, the milligrams, whatever it is, how much basically vitamin is in per capsule. So everything had a little bit more or a lot more vitamins than the vitamin I was taking. And then also they have cranberry, which ladies, I hope you know why cranberry is supposed to be healthy for you. If you don't, message me down below, I'll let you know. But for the guys watching this video, I really don't wanna freak them out too much. But there's cranberry in this. You're gonna get a daily dose of cranberry and then also biotin. I'm telling all of my friends about this multivitamin. I literally threw mine out and I got these. I stocked up, I think I got four boxes of these. They're good for one month and I would stock up. Definitely use my code so you get the 20% off, but it doesn't break when you drop it either. <laughs> and aside from the multivitamin, I did just wanna give this a try. I can let you guys know on my Instagram. Let me know what you think. You want me to give you updates. I feel like it'd be really cool. They have a deer antler velvet extract spray for women. There's one for men, there's one for women. So make sure you're looking at the gender. So what they claim that this does is it supports hair, nails, and skin, healthy immune system, weight loss, and lean muscle strength, endurance, and muscle recovery. So basically what it says is it shakes, 
Shake well before use, and then you're going to take five sprays under your tongue, hold it for 20 seconds before swallowing, and for best results, use twice daily. Shall we try it? Why not? Okay. I did take my multivitamin this morning. Didn't have any weird flavor, it's just the vitamin. They're, um, I guess I could show you what they're about. About that size, normal vitamin. They're compared to, I don't know. They're smaller than vitamin C, which is good because if you guys take vitamin C, if you don't, you should. I definitely recommend vitamin C for everyone. Uh, those are like horse pills and holy snapples, I cannot get this off. All right, so I'm gonna shake it well. It's got the cute little buck logo on it. And I spray five times underneath my tongue and hold it for 20 seconds. Well, now I feel like I just brushed my teeth. It's definitely got a minty flavor. Uh, that was really good. I don't mind doing this twice a day. All right, now it's gonna be both times. So I'm gonna go get changed and back in just a second. All right. So first we're gonna start with the guy products. I only got one guy shirt. I was thinking on the website, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna cut it right here because I'm assuming it's gonna be huge on me and then I can have kind of like a, uh, you know, my own muscle tee. Look how freaking cute it is. I mean, guys, it's pretty sick. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, men that are watching this right now, they have a bunch of these, like really sick shirts. The material is super breathable and thin. I don't know if you can tell. You can see my nails through it. Um, it's super breathable, really nice, really comfy. And then the back has the logo just on it. It's really subtle. It's not, it's not too much. That's kind of what I like. It's kind of like just their, their logo. That's it. Um, but I honestly don't have a lot of t-shirts and I am going to be using this as a t-shirt. I don't want to cut it. This is super comfortable. I'm gonna go see my horses or even just go out to a movie like this right here. I'm done. I'm happy, <laughs> like it's so comfortable. So then we're gonna go into the women's stuff. Okay, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite new sports bra. So what it does, ladies, is it pushes up your girls, right? And it has this really pretty cross back. And what I thought is that it's not gonna be able to handle what I have. Because a lot of the time with the crossbacks on um, on sports bras, they're not supportive. They're very loose, and then you feel like you you can't work out. I feel like there's there's nothing is going to get in my way or push anything out. So has a very cute, it's a very sleek black buck on it. If you're into that thing, I'm super into it. And you can work out. You can do. So, ladies apparel, every time I make a video, Riley, shh. Okay, so for this size, I am a medium. I'm a medium in all most, especially Victoria's Secret sports bras, and I'm still a medium in this. So if your sports bras, definitely true to the size. In the men's t-shirt, I was wearing a small, and you did see it was a little bit baggy, but it's true to size. They're, they're clothes so far, are true to size. This is a small T that I am planning on cutting up. So you can tell it is a bit baggy on me. It fits my girls really nicely. It goes well, like the, um, the sports bra matches nicely with this t-shirt. Um, you do have the logo at the bottom, but I am planning on probably making this into a really cute like crop or something along the lines. Has the same breathing material and the material is really nice. I, it's not really bad. Like honestly, I could probably wear this to the gym. It's just I don't normally wear these types of shirts. I normally actually just go in sports bras because I'm more comfortable that way. And it's hot as balls in Arizona if you guys haven't been and now it's monsoon season. So there's that. Look how cute, okay. So with these shirts, I'm not sure if I could get away with a small. I've tried on other company shirts that are cropped and when they have the arms right here, my arms are too big. So I go to a medium. So this is what it looks like. The only thing that I'm not absolutely 100% loving, it's like a nine out of 10, is right here 
is it's kind of it's kind of bagging out here. Like I wish it was just a little bit tighter. Um, so what I was kind of like planning on doing was making little cuts and just tying it or leaving it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but it fits really well up here. That's what the back looks like. Really cute black and pink back. Okay, next we have the exact same crop top. Just now it is in black and red. It's the same fit. I got a medium again. I really do like it in the arms. I feel like a small would have been too small, unfortunately. And it is just, it's a little, it's a little baggy. That's, that's really it. Just right back here, but it's not terrible. I would still go to the gym in this. I would, I would still rock this complete outfit right here. I think their apparel is really nice. The material is still that kind of sheer. It's not necessarily see-through, but it's very breathable. So, I love it. <laughs> The last t-shirt in the women's apparel that I did get, there are more that I wanted to get, but they were out of stock of my size at the moment. So when they do come in stock, I will be getting them. Trust me, there's a lot of options. Um, I got this one. So it's the same as the black before, but it just has the pink buck. And like I said, I'm probably going to do some sort of a cropped top or maybe some cool like cut design, but even if I don't, to be honest, this is like super comfortable, especially girls, if you guys have bloating issues, which I have happened to me a lot, I want kind of a, a loose, not super skin tight gym shirt. So this I might not even cut because now that I'm talking about, I'm convincing myself that I need this <laughs> the way it is. It's cute up here, but it'll give you a little bit of not feeling like you have to be squeezed and looked at by every angle, especially when you're bending over, if you're doing bent over rows or anything like that in the gym. And this is what the back looks like again, the logo at the bottom. Um, these though, I'm going to show you, I got a size down, which I should have gone a size up. Well, I really just got my normal size, and I really should have sized up because my thighs are so restricted right now, but I wanted to put it on to show you guys because I think they're super cute. It is their leggings. And as you can see, there's a little buck right here. They're adorable if they fit me right. They're way too tight right here. I can't, like, I can't squat. There's no, no squatting is going to happen. But they have this cute detail on the bottom. You can see right here. I like that little detail, and it's lined in the back. They have a bunch of different, different designs going on. And this is what the butt looks like. So, that minus the tag. Has just a little buff. So I'm sure it would look a lot better with my size, but I might do a giveaway with these. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm definitely ordering a size up. The band is amazing. So the band is perfectly fit. It's not too tight. It just it sits really well. And I like the height. I like high high waisted because when I wear cropped and high waisted, I feel like it's a little more flattering but I can't wait until I can actually put on the right size. And I can't wait to try more. I can't wait to get more apparel. Use my code COUNTRYFIT20 for 20% off your entire order. Don't forget to check out to put that in because girls got your back. So if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, never forget to subscribe. Hit that little button down there. And if you want to be notified when I make an awesome video, click the little bell right here. Ding! You'll be notified. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. Look at this hat. Look at it. Look at it. Look how cute it is. I'm not going to put it on around. My hair is too high. But I got the sickest hats ever. Like, ever. Just saying.